The goal today is to run real-time transcription on a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B with OpenAI's uh, Whisper. Here's the Raspberry Pi. It has 4 gigabytes of RAM. The price has really gone up. It used to be about hmm, a third of the price of this. I guess that's due to the chip shortage. Anyway, first thing to do is to use the Raspberry Pi imager, choose the SD card, I got a 32 gig card in there. I've had all the way down to uh, 16 gigs work, but if you do 8 gigs it's not going to work, you need at least 16. Choose your operating system. I find it easy to use this uh, full 64-bit and then write. This usually takes like 10 minutes. I'm using this cheap USB microphone plugged into the Pi. Alright, everything worked with the uh, operating system. And I'm going to this web page here. Opened up the terminal. I'm going to copy and paste this into here to do the install. Alright, I changed the directory, went to the desktop here. And I uh, used this git clone line here. The install was real quick um, and here it is whisper next what you gotta do run this sudo apt install command otherwise if you try to do the make stream you're gonna get this error here so you, you install this libsd that takes a minute to install and then try to make make the stream. All right, now copy and paste this line to the terminal. This will download the tiny model from huggingface.co. If you want to use other models, there's I think like four or five other models available if you want to use those instead. But for Raspberry Pi, you should probably try the tiny model. Next, you want to use this line, this make-j stream all the way to the end here, this ending in 512. You want to use that line here. So you can copy most of this here and then just add this to the front. Now, I wasn't able to get it to work. Uh, without using, unless I used uh, sudo, so I was having some file permission errors or folder permission errors or user permission errors, so I just used the sudo to get this to work. And there we go. Let's see how this does. It's working. All right, I got my other computer open. I'm gonna see how it does with this transcription. Let's give it a second here. with Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, the company behind GPT-4, ChatGPT, Dolly, Codex, and many other AI technologies, which both individually and together constitute some of the greatest breakthroughs in the history of artificial intelligence, computing, and humanity in general. Please allow me to say a few words about the possibilities 
and the dangers of AI in this current moment in the history of human civilization. I be- That's it. Pretty cool. This is some pretty incredible software coming out of OpenAI. I got, I got to admit, um, not only is it running on the uh, Raspberry Pi, I mean, this is on device. So you don't need an internet connection or anything. It, it doesn't use an API. It's all on the Pi. The model, the machine learning model is on the Pi. Raspberry Pi. That's pretty crazy if you think about it. Now, one thing I was thinking about to uh, just like thinking ahead into the future was what if there was a way to convert that model uh, to be used with an accelerator. So right now the models are all in binary format and I wonder if it can be somehow converted to TF Lite for TensorFlow and used on something like Carl uh, accelerator. I know this accelerator can be used with the Pi, but the model would have to be converted um, first. Just something I've been thinking about. This, this, um, the work that went into this is pretty amazing. I wonder if we can take it to the next level with some kind of accelerator. Well, uh, thank you for watching. This is really exciting to be able to do this on a device like the Raspberry Pi, and uh, take care everybody. Thanks again.